What's up YouTube? The Kid's Good here and today I'm going to teach you how to get a high kill win game. In a previous video, I taught you how to secure an easy win, but this is for those of you who said you wanted to learn how to get a high kill win game. If you have an idea for my next Fortnite video, be sure to leave a like and let me know down in the comments below for a shout out in my next video. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to turn the notifications on because I make Fortnite improvement videos weekly. So let's jump right into it. So jumping right into the game here, one of the things I want to talk about when going for a high kill win game is landing. You don't want to land somewhere that's overly populated, such as tilted towers or, you know, in the first front part of the plane path. You want to go somewhere where there's at least going to be three to four people so you can walk away with a couple of kills, but you don't want to go somewhere where there's too many people and the RNG factor plays a big role. Um, I could have done that, but I wanted to try to secure a somewhat easy high kill game. So we've already secured one kill when I noticed another guy who was trying to to run away and we need those kills we need every single kill that we can see it's important to note that you never want to let somebody run away from a fight and you want to get semi-aggressive but you want to play smart while you're doing it anytime you hear shots see someone you know you see building you want to go get involved and try to clean up as many kills as possible when you're going for these high kill wins so we're going to go ahead and continue to loot up and clear out the rest of lazy links because we're not going to have a whole lot of looting time we're going to get most of our loot from killing the rest of our opponents that we run into for the rest of the game so naturally leaving lazy links I had to take the golf cart. Anytime you're there, you have to leave with a golf cart. As I'm leaving, I see a guy who clearly has no idea what's going on because he didn't hear me nor see me. So this is an easy third kill. I come up behind him with the Tommy gun and we go ahead and finish up the kill to gather the, uh, the rest of his loot. Now, when I'm going for a high kill game, I know a lot of people talk about just going straight for the center of the circle. I personally don't like to do that. And the reason being is because you get third party quite often. If you don't know what third party is, that's when you get into a fight with somebody and then somebody else enters into the fight, a third player to clean up both kills. And that happens a lot when you're playing in the center of the circle. So you'll notice that my tips for getting a high kill win game aren't going to be the same as a lot of other people who recommend going tilted, rushing the center of the circle. I recommend for you guys to go for a high kill game while playing a bit safer. I know you see a lot of pros who do those types of things, but you know, they're pros. They're coming out with 19, 20 kills a game. And you know, Unfortunately, that's just not us. Now, if you're the type of person who gets 19, 20 kills a game, you're probably not watching the video regardless. This is for the average player who runs around a 1, 2, even a 3 KD. We're not pulling out 20 kill games. We might do it once in a blue moon, but it's a very rare occasion. So this is a strategy that's going to work 9 times out of 10, um, and it, it works for me quite often. This is how I get most of my relatively high kill games. I see someone who just rotated into Risky Reels, so I'm going to play a bit passive and wait for them to come out and clean up their loot. And this is a perfect example as to how to play passive when you're going for a high kill win game. I could have rushed right into his uh, risky reel situation, but he could have had the advantage in taking me out. So I knew he had no idea where I would be and I could catch him while he's rotating into the circle and I could have cleaned it up for all of the loot, uh, securing the fourth kill. So heading into the late game, I want to get a little bit more aggressive because I only have four kills and I want to secure anywhere between nine and 11 to consider it a high kill game. Uh, one of the things I want you guys to note here though is look at my loadout. I don't have a sniper rifle and I actually have two sets of meds. The reason that I am doing it like this is because I'm not going to be sitting in one by ones. I'm going to continuously be pushing forward. So I don't need a sniper rifle. I need guns that are for close range. I need either an SMG or a good AR, a legendary pump if you can find one, and a Tommy gun. All of those guns are perfect for close range fights because anytime I see someone, I want to get close to them, close the gap, and end the kill pretty relatively quickly so that I can move on to the next kill. We don't want to sit in one by ones and snipe at people because as you do that, people are dying and the uh, the potential kills that you could get are dwindling. So I always want to be pushing forward. Now here we had a guy who tried to third party me in this last fight. He was unsuccessful and I know that I need to rotate into the circle so that I'm not fighting him in the gas. So I want to try to cut him off as quickly as possible and I'm very aware of where he is. Um, he actually tries to loop back around me from the other side. Luckily I'm able to spot him and take him out of the game. But I am trying to get aggressive. I don't want him to you know sneak away 
away. I want to get right up in his face. I could have ran straight for the circle and boxed myself in had I been going for an easy kill win, let's say, but that's not the case here. So I'm trying to track him down to take him out and secure the sixth kill because there are still nine people left, eight people after I finish this kill, and we have a potential to get a very high kill win here. So I'm trying to get into his face and in this fight as quickly as possible. He boxes up. I want to land a few shots before I get close enough, um, which I'm able to do successfully. He's trying to box up and med. I actually heard him medding, and I don't want to let that happen, so I'm trying to take him out before he can get a chance to med, which is important when you're getting in these fights that are super close range. You never want to give somebody the opportunity to med because as soon as they med, they're A, wasting your meds that you could be using, and B, it's going to be a lot harder to take them out. So whenever you see somebody box up like that, you have to get aggressive try to tear down their structure and uh, take them out of the game. Now I know for a lot of you going for a high kill win game and always pushing forward towards the circle and getting in people's faces is a lot out of your comfort zone but I'm telling you if you want to get a lot more high kills you have to play out of your comfort zone and I always preach that you know it's not always the best situation to be sitting around and waiting for people because while you know you may get a few kills and you may get a win it's not going to make you a better player. As you get into more fights and you get more aggressive pushing yourself out out of your comfort zone, I promise you'll start to get a lot better because you'll learn from your mistakes. When you're going for these high kill win games and getting really aggressive while playing smart, it will put you out of your comfort zone and naturally you will get better at the game. So I see somebody who has just uh, jump padded in or rifted in one or the other. I know he's in here. I have a legendary pump and when you have a legendary pump, you can get a little bit more aggressive. I uh, I could have played it a little bit slower and you know he could have put a trap down. I didn't hear one, uh, but luckily enough, I was able to take him out with uh, without him even touching my shield so I'm looking for more players. I'm down to seven kills when I get shot, which is what I want to happen. I want to draw fire when I'm in these in-game situations because that means that I'm going to be able to secure more wins. So sometimes I may even tear down a tree all the way, or I may even just pop a couple shots in the air to try to draw players in when I'm going for high kill win games because I want people to find me if I can't find them. And one of the other important things I want to talk about is when you're down to, you know, five, six, seven people, you have to be very careful when you're cleaning up the loot of your kill. And the reason I say that is because you've typically just gotten to a pretty loud engagement. There's only a couple players left. The circle's pretty small. People are looking towards you and you don't want to be caught with your pants down while you're looting so when you start to loot you want to throw some walls up and you want to you know somehow take some precautions so that you don't just get sniped in the face now one of the other things I'm doing in this particular situation is I'm listening now I know I don't have the game audio on but I am listening for any and all shots I want to hear anybody get into an engagement because with four people left if two people get into an engagement I can definitely clean up one kill but I might be able to catch them off guard and clean up both kills um, so right now I'm listening for those kills unfortunately I don't hear anybody getting into any fights at the the moment so I want to just start pushing forward I'm trying to think of where people might be I can tell with where the circle is and where I have been that they are not behind me for the most part they're not in front of me because I can't see anybody so they have to be off to my left in some general direction so I would assume that if anybody's left in the game they're probably in the broken structure uh, up here on top of this hill so I'm gonna go ahead and take that high structure uh, and I want to start heading up towards there because there's probably at least one or two people that are up here because of the the small side of the circle with three people left, it's time to end up finishing the, the game out. I want to get the last two kills and get the win to secure what to be a 10-kill uh, win game. So I see somebody. I take almost all their shields out. And when, when you're down to about 70 health, you can get down in their face and get aggressive. That's what I did in one of my last fights, as you can see. That legendary pump is so broken. If you have an opportunity to pick that gun up, Please pick it up because if you land a headshot, you know, most of the time you're going to take somebody out of the game. Um, so you don't need the best aim to do so. So... We weren't blessed with the circle, but that doesn't matter because I know that I can outbuild and I can outfight almost anybody I run into. You have to have that confidence when you're getting into these fights. You have to have the utmost confidence that everybody you run into, you're going to out outbuild them, you're going to outshoot them because if you even have a little bit of hesitation whether or not you can win and you start to get nervous and shaky, you're going to play poorly. So I know he's down here behind the bus. We're going to land a couple of shots. Now, this guy was a complete bot, and you'll see what I mean in this uh, in this next upcoming kill where I finish out the, the game. Uh, I somehow got stuck under my ramp, so I had to build out of that, or tear out of that, rather. Um, but yeah, this guy was a complete bot. It was such an easy win. I jumped down, and he has I hit him for 120. He has no idea what's going on right here, so I'm just kind of playing with him. I kind of wanted to see how long we could sit here before he would notice me, and he starts to notice me, so we go ahead and take him out of the game.
Thanks for watching, and I hope that this video can help you get your next high kill win game. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and then tell me what you want to see in my next video down in the comments. Until next time.